Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Arts Ella Carts. Thank you very much for joining me. I have a fun project planned for us today. I hope this video inspires you to create something of your own. If you would, hit the like button and share the video with your friends. That helps me to grow this channel and to continue to bring you new projects. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you please consider subscribing? And if you have, thank you very much. Well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Art Seller Carts. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, I've got a fun little project. Uh, I've got my next eek sign that I'm going to make. And uh, this particular person loves puppy dogs. So this year's sign will be uh, a bandana that I got at one of our feed stores. How about that? Is that too cute? And I'm going to cover this and this. But I'm going to begin by painting it white because I think it would just uh, look better because we're going to mod podge it on. So I would anticipate the back coming through a little bit. So we're going to paint it white. So I have my favorite kind of drop cloth, i.e. a bag. I've got some white paint. Uh, oh, I've got some cording. I'm thinking I might actually paint this like dip it in some black paint, let it dry, and then outline everything. Thinking that would look really cool. And I'm gonna dig out my uh, art glitter glue and maybe fill these in with a little bit of glitter. That's my thought so far. All right, we can dig all that out, but let's get, we're gonna paint both sides just to help make this, um, this is just press board. So we want it to last. So I'm going to get rid of this and we'll get started. So in case you're new to the channel, for drop cloths, I like to just take a regular old plastic bag and I fold it and I fold it and then I'm going to cut off this bottom seam. And then I'm going to cut off the handles. And then I'm going to split it. If it's one with words on it, like that, I'm going to split it down of the words and then put the words uh, down away from the project. Sometimes these words will um, bleed onto your project. So. I think we need about that much and a little bit more to put our paint on. So maybe a piece like that. Here's the black for the cording. Let's go ahead and get this back painted. And of course my favorite water container water bottle. Right, while we wait on this to dry completely, uh, I'm going to go ahead and trace this uh, onto our, our fabric, which will be way easier than gluing it on and trying to cut it. So we are going to trace it and then cut it out. But 
not with this. Oh, that, that's pretty good, so. Note to self, I'll use a pencil next time. It doesn't leave a mark on my piece and it makes a much thinner line that you're trying to use as a, the cutout line. All right, so we'll go ahead and just cut it out. Here is our template. Here is our fabric. Let's see how we did. There we are. Okay. All right. I think that's good. Might trim it up a little bit over here. Get rid of this line a little bit. Just taking a smidgy smidge piece off. Basically just cutting off that Sharpie line. All right. So there's that, there's our template, little fine tip, little scissors came in handy. Okay, we're dry, let's flip it over and we will paint this side and then we'll let it dry good and then we will Mod Podge this on. I did get out my little glitter, so it's like a black rainbow, so it has multiple colors in it. But I think that would be pretty just to make our little doggos here stand out a little bit, right? Or I might put it on the paw prints. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to use glitter. Just don't know exactly where. All right. So let's see. Get down to the bottom of this bucket. So perfect way to use it. It's right here. That's good. Let's see what 
has a small job here. All right, into the nitty gritty. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do just a little bit at a time. That way, if I've got a I don't want any little bit of with it, up into our my time. It's just Make like that the tiniest little scraps. scraps to dry. Just to fine tune that little cut out. Alright, you do it. stretch our fabric. And we are going to put Mod Podge on the top. It'll help the fabric to stay a little bit of clean, right? Because this will be a wall hanging. Alright. Just give it a gander here. a little bit off there but we'll do that I'm going to go ahead and mod podge everything and then I have a little trimming for there and where else did I see it right in here but what I'm going to do to help me get the cleanest cut possible I'm going to let my mod podge help me so I'm going to actually put this on so it will stiffen up the fabric then I'll be able to use a razor blade and get right up to the wood. done. Alright, that's it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get that, that other piece out and I'm going to create um, like a gray dye because it won't really be um, black because I'm going to water it down. So my handy dandy little tub here. Let's bring our pattern back out. And let's measure our cording around. literally going to just use this this right here I'm going to pour some in here <laughs> static clean has got me y'all all right Just my black Just gonna put a glop 
glop, glop. There we go. Ooh, time to get cleaned up and let it dry. Our ink looks pretty good over here so far, but we will um, let everything dry and then we'll come back, we'll add this on and then see uh, where if we want to put the glitter on there. And then I'm, uh, before I even do the rope, uh, the edging or the glitter, I'll probably will mud podge the back and let it dry and then come in maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it all works out. I gotta go clean my fingers, y'all. I can't even think. <laughs> all right. Be back when it's dry. So I've got that on there and now I'm just adding a little bead of glue that will dry clear. right here along where that little cording meets the wood. Make sure I get that end of that cord real good. And there we have it. There is the first outline. I'm going to go back. I'm going to push it all down. Yeah, like that one. So, hmm. We'll just let it dry because what I want to do then eventually is come back and um, put glitter around these cutouts, cutaways. There we go. Needs a little bit more weight. All right, so there is that. And that all dry clear, so not an issue. Okay, so now we have K, what is this, what did I, what did I write? K top, okay, yep, there's that. So we will cut this off. And we'll go ahead and add just a little bit of glue. Again, we want to make it pliable. There we go.
go to town. Oh, I don't even know where that went. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we will just go to town. I see one little thing, though. we got to get rid of that. Especially if we're going to have that be close to the end. Here we go. Do have this little edge over here. And I think we're just going to put glitter there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do the inside and then I'm going to try to do a line on the outside. Let's see how this goes. We will let it set, and uh, then we'll see what areas, like right in there, I know, uh, but we'll see what other areas uh, that we need to add glitter to, and we'll do that, and we'll let it dry again. But there we go. Ooh, it's kind of pretty just like that. Well, if we can fill that in. But yeah, how about that? It's going to be pretty, I think.
look at this cute in that my husband put on the end of the shop vac. So I can get in here and I can just clean this right up. All right, here we go. does it. I think I'm going to paint this black. I still have this. going to go ahead and put my Mod Podge here on the back and let that dry while the front's drying. Alright, we will let this dry and uh, we'll flip it over, finish up the front, and uh, we are just about there, y'all. How about that? What a fun project. Our little eek sign 2024. Alright, I'm going to get a little bit cleaned up and uh, get my brushes cleaned up and then I'll. As soon as it's dry, I'll come back to you. Alright, so this side is dry. How about that? So now, we're going to give this a vacuum again and get any stray glitter we have. And then we will put some Mod Podge on this side as well. How about that? It's coming together.
there she blows, I think. That is just about it. I'm sure you don't have any pooling anywhere. There we go. Voila. it is. How about that? Alright, we'll let it dry and then we'll call this one done. How about that? What a cute little eek sign with our exclamation mark. Well, here is our eek sign 2024. I like how it turned out. A little bit of glitter. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like it. Share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, would you please consider subscribing? And well, until next time, happy crafting! I'll bring you in. I'll show you some close-ups.